Hey everybody, April Dunham here. Today I want to talk about Power Apps Galleries, specifically how you can transform the images in your galleries to be circular instead of the traditional square that you see. So if we look at the screenshot here on the left hand side, we have the square look and feel. On the right hand side, we've transformed that to be this nice circular look and feel. So let's dive right in and take a look at how to accomplish this in Power Apps. First step is to insert a gallery. Um, in this case, I inserted a horizontal gallery. And then obviously we need to point it to the data source where your image is and your data is. In this case, I have a SharePoint list that I have my Power Addicts crew here stored in. So now we just need to choose the data for our title. So I want to show the Power Addict person's name for the title and for the subtitle, I want their Twitter handle. For the image, this is actually a SharePoint document library. So for the image, I'm going to click on the little placeholder image there. And in the image property, I'm going to change that to the link to item property from our SharePoint document library. That will surface up the image. So as we can see right now, it's just the vanilla square horizontal gallery. Another thing I want to do is make this gallery two rows instead of one. So let's see how to do that. So to get two rows of items in our gallery, we're going to select our gallery, click the properties drop down, and we're going to find this wrap count property. If we click wrap count, we can see the defaults one, but we can change this to any number we want. So if I wanted it to show two rows, I could three rows, whatever. I'm going to change that to two. Now, the rounding of the images. How do we have how do we make that happen? So let's click on our image. So we to make a round image, we have to make sure that the width and the height of our images are the same. So I'm going to take this image. Let's see, I'll make the width, let's go with 180. And I'll make the height 180 also. And that'll apply to every image of my gallery. All right, so now that we have a nice image with the same width and the same size, let's go ahead and make that rounded. To do that, click on your image in your gallery, click the properties drop down pane, and we have four different properties. We have radius bottom left, right, top left and top right. We need to go into each of these properties. So I'll go into radius bottom left and we need to make set that property to your image name. So in this case, it's just image one dot height. Okay, so notice when I do that in the bottom left, we have a nice circular effect in the bottom left corner. So I'm just gonna copy this formula and we need to go into each of the different radius properties so and apply that same formula. Okay, there we go, we're getting there. So now we kind of got a bottom left and right. Apply the same to the top. And that's it. Now we have nice circular images in our gallery. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.